get me the president. I'm on to something big. Brick baseball cards date back to the year 1991 when companies began applying a special ultra varnish coating, causing the cards to stick together all of these years later. It is my lifelong goal to finally solve this mystery once and for all. After scouring the world for suggestions, here are the experiments we will conduct tonight. Rice. Silica gel packets. A microwave. A hair dryer. Ice. And last but not least, fire. Time to check out the results. I've decided to use 95 tops as our specimen for tonight's experiments. These have a tendency to brick together, much more so than other packs that I've opened. The rice, these were opened and stored inside of here approximately seven days ago. And as most of you may know, you drop your phone in water, putting it into a bowl or box of rice seems to take the moisture out. We're hoping the same effect will be had on this bricked pack. They're coming apart pretty easily. There's still some stickiness, still a little bit of moisture in between these cards. But again, we're looking for paper loss. I see a little bit on these two cards here. So it didn't entirely take the moisture out altogether. All right, so that didn't really work, unfortunately. The silica gel bags, I purchased these off of Amazon for about eight bucks for a hundred of them. Hoping once again that we could pull the moisture out from between the inside of these cards. These were placed in here also seven days ago. And the first card came off pretty easy there. There's still a little bit of stickiness. I do see some paper loss on the Cyberstats Andy Ashby. But the middle of the pack is still pretty stuck. You can see the speckles there. So in conclusion, the silica gel packets did not do what we had intended. I'm gonna solve this. This is one you wanna be careful with, especially if the cards have foil on them. You wanna do it in intervals of five seconds. This definitely does work, but it is definitely the most sketchy of all of the methods. You see the car door smoking. You don't want to burn your house down. It's better to have something to pull them apart with. The cards are definitely loose. They do come off quite easy, but they may feel like they're warped. And there really isn't any paper loss on that one. You see this one is destroyed. So the microwave method is not a foolproof method. And you see the foil card fried. So for the hair dryer, we're gonna let it heat up for a few seconds and then apply it to the edges of these brick cards. Keeping an eye out for paper loss. As you can see, paper loss constitutes all of these white speckles. As you can see on that card right there, we're trying to eliminate that altogether. And this is caused by moisture stuck between these cards. So 
So the hairdryer method, not completely effective as we are seeing a decent amount of paper loss, but not the worst way to do this. So one of the more common methods of unbreaking cards are to put them in the freezer and let freedom out for a while. And these ones have been in here for seven days in the ice box. You can see how that came off there pretty easily. You probably want to put them inside of a bag to protect them a little better from the moisture. So a little bit of paper loss on the cyber stats parallel mark lighter is going to have some paper loss. Also, typically the cards in the center of the pack will experience paper loss, the worst of them all. And now this method seems to be, it's working about as good as the other ones. There's still paper loss, still speckles on there. Not every card, but the majority of them are destroyed. But they're coming apart a little easier. Dennis Eckersley. We should do this in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Second year Paul Canerco. Luckily not a rookie. So the fire method is actually not too bad. <laughs> Honestly, I'm seeing less paper loss with this method than I did with the microwave initially. So I may have something with that method overall. Very interesting. In closing, none of the methods you saw tonight ended up being foolproof. I've spent all my time and money and resources researching this for many, many years. And now I have no money left for food. <laughs> 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 Let's use that. <laughs>